Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today's uh, Scribble will be done using a newerish fountain pen coming from uh, Hong Dian, the uh, 1862. If you are a big fan of the uh, Black Forest, this fountain pen might be up your alley. Very similar with the original Black Forest, with a few differences that I think improves a little bit on the design. The overall body size is pretty much the same, but a little bit lighter, and uh, the end of the barrel is better shaped uh, for a better posting experience. The um, section is actually a little bit longer on the uh, 1862, and the barrel is a little bit shorter, but again, overall makes it for exactly the same uh, size. And as such, even though the cap on the 1862 is slightly longer, when posted, the font pen is actually shorter than the Black Forest posted. Balance-wise, the cap on the 1862 is actually a little bit more top-heavy. The cap seems to be, uh, well, heavier, but the overall design is definitely more pleasant, at least to my eyes. Unposted, both pens are quite uh, well balanced in the middle of the pen. Also worth mentioning, the clip on the 1862 is actually functional and uh, it's a hinge type mechanism. At least uh, the clip on my uh, Black Forest never really worked properly. The 1862 comes in four colors as far as I know. All of them look quite nice and well put together. All have the same pattern on the barrel. The only main difference that I see between them is the color that they have on the barrel. They all seem to come with a silver-like number 5 nib and a converter included, which is good. All come with the same off-white cream section cap and barrel end. You do get to have a choice between the fine and an extra fine nib. I personally have the extra fine as I usually tend to get it. One thing that I really like on the new nib units is the redesigned feet. I definitely like the feet and finish and it suits the nib unit way better. Feels and uh, looks more premium as they say. Another addition over the Black Forest, we do have an o-ring on the section to keep uh, or to help keep the barrel nice and snug and at the moment of the purchase the 1862 was actually cheaper than the Black Forest version. So, in case you haven't figured out yet, personally, I do like the 1862 a little bit better over the first version of the Black Forest fountain pen. As a matter of fact, with the exception um, of the pen being a little bit back weighted when posted, I really have no complaints about it. For today's writing test and drawing, I decided to uh, go with an ink that I have not used for a while. I am using the Mont Blanc Burgundy Red. For the writing test, I had no issues with the nib. It is an extra fine as it is advertised, and as such it feels a little bit scratchy, but is not really. Works on both sides without any issues, and you do get a little bit of a line variation from the nib. The tines do get to spread just ever so slightly when putting some pressure on them. Just do not not overdo it. It's not really a flex or a semi-flex nib and especially with the uh, extra fine nib, those tines are very thin and uh, if you're writing on a paper that it's a little bit more fragile, most probably it will break it. Also, you run into the issue that if the tines are snapping back together when you lift the pressure, you may actually pinch the paper and you're going to get fibers, paper fibers between the tines. For today's drawing, I left myself inspired by, um, from all the things out there, a game. When I bought my computer parts to build my new PC, because um, I went for... Uh, an AMD video card and CPU, my first rig uh, building an AMD, I got a free pass uh, for the uh, Starfield game from Bethesda. 
that, well, was just about to be released. And um, to be honest, I think I have uh, spent way, way too much time on this game. Nothing really special about it in terms of uh, mechanics or playthrough. It's pretty much the same old Bethesda RPG and glitches. But uh, I have to admit that the visuals are stunning on this game. Not that the other ones uh, that they made uh, weren't stunning enough. It's just that this one seems to be a little bit more uh, colorful. The uh, Fallout series uh, are a little bit maybe too gray and too depressing, but I guess uh, it does go very well with the theme of those games. Anyway, uh, huge props uh, to all the designers and artists that uh, contributed to this uh, new game that they have. I am actually really, really enjoying it. Not because of the mechanics or the playthrough or the storylines that they have, but uh, mostly because of the stunning visuals that you can find throughout it. And yeah, in this game there are some sort of uh, abstract paintings that are displayed throughout the game, and one of them kind of caught my eye. Uh, it was a very simple one. Look like uh, might have been an oil painting depicting some trees and clouds all in a very rough shape, a very polygonal, let's call it. And uh, the painting was of a nature landscape with a few trees, some clouds and some sort of a ground. Nothing really special about it if you really look at it and I have no clue if this is some sort of actual art piece that is famous. But it definitely caught my eye and I enjoyed watching it. Now, I am not copying it and I am not rendering it exactly the same or I'm not doing the same composition, but I did took a few ideas from it and kind of built up my own thing in my head and uh, as I was doing the drawing, I pretty much let myself loose as they say. I had uh, very few rules in my head try and keep the polygonal composition of elements that surrounds the main subject, strong lines with strong long hashes, while the tree, the main subject, has a little bit more detail from the rest of the composition and stands apart by using a different type of line. Something that I actually enjoy doing sometimes in my off times, as I show a little bit uh, from my uh, little traveling sketchbook, which by the way was a gift given to me years ago from a coworker, and only recently I started using it. I had no idea how um, it was going to turn out and um, well you see the progress pretty much in front of you. I did wonder a lot and uh, there were a few parts where I just wanted to give up and try something else but again as usual. I forced myself uh, to push through and uh, finish whatever I started and uh, I thought that even if it doesn't look good in the end, at least I get some practice out of it and hopefully I'll get to try it again a little, at a later time. Anyway, what do you think? And uh, as an artist, uh, does this spark any ideas in your head? I'm not really asking for criti critique, more like I'm looking to see what you as an artist uh, would have come up with and uh, what ideas this could have sparked in your head. Final thoughts on the fountain pen? In my opinion, another great little inexpensive fountain pen from uh, Hong Dayan. I like their little improvements and especially the details that they have uh, on the nib and feed. Great little pen, I like it, at least in my opinion, like everything. As with anything that I like, um, I have no issues recommending it, but again, keep in mind we are not the same, and uh, what I like, you may not like and the other way around. And uh, that is okay. That's about it for today, enjoy the rest of the time lapse, and if you have questions, like usual, Comment below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for joining me today. Hope I'll see you next time and I wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.